Hi, my name is Emma Taro and I am currently enrolled in South Tahoe High School and I'm a junior. I'm also taking Sports Medicine 3, which is taught by Tanasi. For my four, for my sixth Sports Medicine project, I chose to research about substance abuse in young adults. For my table of contents, I will be researching about four topics. One, the biggest cause. I will be researching about the number one and or most popular cause of drug abuse and the most popular drugs used. Number two, attitude. I will provide information about how substance abuse affects their attitude, such as their happiness, motivation, and the the effects on their brain. Number three, body. I will explain the harsh consequences that substance abuse does to your body, short and short-term and long-term effects, as well as the effect on the body's health overall. Bystanders noticing it. I will provide research and I will provide provide research and information about how non-substance users users can notice substance abuse in their family, friends, or even strangers. I chose this topic to research about because it is very common and I know and have some friends and family being affected by drug abuse. I chose the four topics above because they are the basics and the most important thing to be educated on as a non-drug user. The biggest cause of substance abuse. Genes, the action of the drug, peer pressure, emotional distress, anxiety, depression, and environmental stress can all be factors of drug abuse. Some who develop a substance use problem have depression, attention deficient order, post-traumatic stress disorder, or another mental problem. The main or popular drugs used. Stimulants, such as cocaine, depressants, such as alcohol, opium-related painkillers, such as heroin, and hallucinogens, such as LSD. Stimulants make you feel energetic, alert, talkative, active, and very excited. They can also be very dangerous and can cause death. Repeated use can cause paranoia, paranoia, which may be diagnosed as schizophrenia, and they are also extremely addictive. Depressants. They can make you feel relaxed, chilled out, mellow. They can also have possible effects such as anxiety, nightmares, and aggression. They are also extremely dangerous at high doses and are very addictive as well. Opium-related painkillers can make you feel a rush of pleasure in a dreamy state, drowsy. They are also very dangerous at a high dose and are addictive as well. Hallucinogens make you feel detached from your surroundings. You can have mood swings, altered sense of space and time, illusions and distortions of reality, feelings of insight, mystical or religious experiences or unordinary experiences. These vary a lot, This, although the same drug may have different effects at different times or on, a, or on different people. The experience may be powerful and not much fun for the user. How does it affect their brain or attitude? Mental health means different things to different people. Some think of control, happiness, contentment, or order, but good mental health is usually a sign of a positive way of life. Mental health is the opposite of this. Mental ill health is the opposite. It causes problems and creates barriers to being happy and between other people. It can also be affected by external influences. And one of these is drugs. Drugs that are psycho, psychoative, psychoactive, such as cannabis, alcohol, ecstasy, and heroin have the ability to affect your mood. They can arouse certain emotions or dampen down others. The changes in your mood or behavior caused by drugs are the result of changes to your brain. Drugs interfere with the chemicals in your brain, which is which affects the messages those chemicals are trying to send to the rest of your body and brain. Short-term effects. All psychoactive drugs may cause mental health problems while you are taking them, and as you clear your body or detox the drug from your body, it can include anxiety, mood swings, depression, sleep problems, and psychosis. Long-term effects include ongoing mental health problems, using such and using a drug can trigger a mental illness you didn't know you had, or the drug changes the way a certain chemical affects your brain function. Short-term effects examples, drug-induced in, induced 
anxiety disorder. You can have panic attacks, heart rate increase, trembling, sweats, shortness of breath, fear of losing control, surroundings are strange or look strange, losing your personal identity, and you can lose your sense of reality. Drug-induced psychosis, psychosis can cause dilutions, hallucinations, and you can feel out of place. Drug-induced mood disorder can make you feel depressed, sad, restless, irritable, tired, or manic. Elevated mood, delusions, impulsive behavior, racing thoughts, all can cause mood disorder by drugs. Cocaine, antifemetamines, heroin, and methadone. Long-term effects examples, ecstasy and depression. An antifemetamine that causes hallucinations, ecstasy, causes your brain to release a much higher amount of serotonin than usual. So over time, your natural stores of serotonin will drop and cause depression in your body and throughout your body. Cannabis and schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is a severe mental illness, and it is likely in people who, who use or smoke cannabis more regular, regularly than normal, or are more su- they are more susceptible to schizophrenia. THC is very similar to endocan- endocannabinoids found in your brain that control many aspects of your brain function and behavior. Since THC is so similar, it mimics the natural compounds of the brain. How does it affect the body and health? Different types of drugs affect your body in different ways and can vary from person to person. Body size, general health, the amount strength of the drug. If any other drugs are in the system at the same time, It is very important to remember that illegal drugs are not controlled substances. Therefore, the quality and or strength may differ from one to another. Drugs can have short-term and long effects, physical and psychological, which can also include dependency. You may act differently, feel differently, and think differently if you have taken drugs. The more you take a drug, the more likely you are to build up a tolerance to to its effects which then can lead to addiction. Body and health continued. Short-term effects. Drug use can lead to risky or out of character behavior. You are more likely to have an accident at home, in a car, etc. You may also be very vulnerable to sexual assault or you may be engaged in unprotected sex, which means you can have, you can be possibly, you can end up being pregnant or have a sexually transmitted infection. You can also commit a sexual assault or other violent act. You may find it hard to sleep, think, reason, remember, and solve problems. Long-term effects. Drugs can also result in long-term health outcomes, outcomes that include harm to organs, organs or systems in your body, such as your throat, stomach, lungs, liver, pancreas, heart, brain, nervous system, and cancer, such as lung cancer from inhaling drugs, infectious disease, from sharing injecting forms of drugs. You can harm your baby if you are pregnant. Acne or skin lesions from drugs and needle marks and collapsed veins from injection, injecting. Baldness can occur as well, such as male pattern hair growth in women, such as facial hair. Jaw and teeth issues due to clenching and grinding your teeth. You can also have bad breath, teeth cavities, and gum diseases. Mood swings and erratic behavior also occur, such as higher risk and can cause a higher risk of mental illness, depression, suicide, and death. Addiction can be caused, such as losing touch with reality, and accidental overdose, and a higher risk of mental illness. Mental illness can cause depression, suicide, and death. How can you notice it in others? Physical signs include Physical signs of addiction can can manifest as side effects of use during an overdose or as a result of withdrawal. Withdrawal. It may be very difficult for someone to pinpoint and find the cause of the physical signs or or severe effects that will require immediate medical treatment. 
it is very important to understand that withdrawal symptoms begin to show when the body adjusts to the absence of a familiar quantity of a drug. It is a natural process, although withdrawal can be very dangerous to someone's health and body. General signs of addiction, addiction include difficulties at school or school-related activities, declining grades, poor work ethic, showing up late, and appearing tired, disinterested, poor, and per, poor performance reviews, changes in physical appearance, wearing inappropriate or dirty clothing, and lack of grooming, altered behavior, desire for privacy, changes in relationships, defensive when asked, asked about substance abuse, a lack of energy when performing daily activities, spending more money than usual, borrowing money, financial management issues, decreased appetite and associated weight loss, bloodshot eyes, poor skin tone, and appearing tired or run down. Knowing these signs can help you become aware and identify someone who is using. Thank you so much for watching and listening to my presentation on sub substance abuse in young adults, the effects it has on the body, brain, and health, and how bystanders can notice it in family, friends, or strangers. Thank you.